your mama. <laughs> Franklin, you forgot your coat. I'm getting ready to dunk on you, homie. You couldn't dunk donuts. Hey, Dala. You got it. Step aside, chump. Uh. Huh. This man is Franklin Delano Roosevelt Jones. Yes. What was your uh, relationship with the deceased? He was my Avon lady. Oh, give me a break. Well, give me a break. You think this is a thrilling morning for me, huh? Eat an Egg McMuffin, look at a dead guy. Look, honey, I... Hey, I... I'm not your honey. It's Belinda. As a matter of fact, it's Miss Keaton. <laughs> Are you listening to this? She's a four. Hello. Uh, hi. And this guy here was her pimp. 
And he wasn't paying off somebody like he was supposed to, so somebody made him kiss the sidewalk. Can I close the drawer now? Sure. All right. Now can you tell me who sent him the pimp heaven? Oh, sure. Now can you kiss my ass? For how much? Is someone going to pick up Mr. Jones? Because we sure could use the space. You've got it, sport. Sir, could you sign right here? Um, excuse me? Yeah. Franklin once told me that he wanted to be buried in his car. We don't do that. Oh. You'd probably have to call the uh, funeral home or the Department of Motor Vehicles. Don't I know you? I know. I'm... Yeah, I do. I no. do. <laughs> no, um, I, I couldn't. I wouldn't. I'm engaged. Uh, here's a picture of my fiance, Charlotte. Well, the picture doesn't do her justice. She's suffering from water buildup. Hey, I thought I knew you. A lot of guys have my face. This is my mom. You OK, Chuck? Yeah, thanks for waiting around. I'm going to take off, all right? We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hi, Mr. Carboni. Hey, ain't you going home, Chuck? Well, Hector's an hour late at 7 o'clock. Well, uh, Hector's been transferred. Oh, you're getting a new night man. Yeah, well, not exactly. You're starting tomorrow. You're going on night shift, Chuck. Night shift? I started on night shift. I'm here six years. I thought I was getting a raise Are this you going to make trouble about this? No, I just didn't. Are know. you going to go over my head? Night shift? <laughs> hey, Chucky, baby. Chucky! Come on, night shift's better. Huh? There's no supervisors around. Hey, you practically run the place. You like to read. It's quiet here at night. It's quiet here during the day, sir. Good. It's settled. See you tomorrow night. You'll be breaking in a new partner, uh, Bill something or other. Mr. Carboni? Huh? Who has my job? Oh, uh, uh... Right here. It's right on here. Yeah. Mr. Carboni? Huh? He seems to have the same last name you do. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think he's my nephew. I I'll see you, Chuck. Oh, that's just wonderful. And what am I supposed to be doing every night while you're working? I'll be home days. I work days. All normal people work days. Should I have quit? If I'm going to go right down there why and just say... Why are you say... asking me, Chuck? I don't know why you work there in the first place. Your mother says you're a financial wizard. Why do you listen to my mother? This is the same woman who goes to a seance every Friday night since my father died just so she can still yell at him. How long will you be on there? Until the wedding. That's nine months. Don't you want me to look good? I think you look good now. And I think you're the sweetest man in the world. Oh.
Oh, you the night guy? Yes. Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm Leonard Carboni. What a pleasure to meet you, Leonard. How was your first day? Shitty. A lot of paperwork and stuff. I see. But Uncle Sal said you straightened it all out. Fine. I'm Bill Blaze Jasky. You call me Billy Blaze. You must be Chuck, right? Nice shoes. Hey, this is all right. Guess this is where I'm gonna be working. I'm your new partner. Swish! Ah, they're going crazy in the arena. They can't believe it. It's unbelievable. This is great. What's our job? We'd like drive around, pick up stiffs or what? Is that what we're supposed to do? Hey, Chuck, who's this? Wife. Uh, fiance. Oh. Nice frame. Yeah, okay, we can make stuff, we can read, coffee. This is great. I like it. You wonder why I carry this tape recorder? It's to tape things. See? I'm an idea man, Chuck. All right? I get ideas all day long. I can't control them. It's like they come charging in. I, I can't even fight them if I wanted to, you know? Ah, so I say I'm in here, and that way I never forget them. See what I'm saying? Okay, here's an example. Watch out. Stand back. This is Bill. Idea to eliminate garbage. Edible paper. See? Eat it. It's gone. Eat it. It's out of there. No garbage. Got everything in here. Business ideas, inventions, musicals. I wrote a couple musicals in here. Would you like Words. to see the rest of the office? Yeah. Hey, you want Snickers? No, thank you. It's not frozen because my refrigerator broke. I understand. Where are you from, Chuck? I'm from Cleveland. Well, I'm originally from Seattle, but I just came in from Cleveland. And this is our lab. Yeah, it's nice. Got this. I'm living with this chick, right? I come home one night, I catch her in bed with another girl. I went, no, I couldn't believe it, you know? She went lesbo on me like that. It was unbelievable. I just finished eating my dinner. I walked right out of there. What do you think? Was that wrong? Well, that's very personal. I am the... What's in yours? Just stiffs and stuff? Oh, no, we call them corpses. Can I take a peek? Sure. All right. I think there's one hey, in number Hey, guy. What's he like, our boss, or what? No, no, he's the supervisor. He's not here at night. Nah, get out of town. Just you and me and the stiffs alone here? That's going to be radical, Chuck. That guy's dead. Charlotte? Yes? You've been in there a half an hour. Are you okay? I'm fat. You're not fat. I'm fat. This is my one night off. I look forward to this all week. Why don't you come to bed? I just want to lose six more pounds. Tonight? Why don't you run into bed? Maybe you'll lose some pounds along the way. All right, Chuck. Just don't look at me. Okay. Are the lights out? Yeah. Are the lights out, Chuck? Oh, yes. Yes. Could you close the drapes? Sure. Could you just check the apartment? 
Why do I have to check the apartment every time? Choo-choo, please, if you check the apartment, then I can relax. Okay. Huh? Nobody here! Are you excited? Like the French when Lindbergh landed. Uh, am I fat? Uh-uh. Am I fat? You're a willow. You're a reed. You're Audrey Hepburn. Uh. Jack. You're not fat. That music. What music? That music. What music? Chuck. It's just a little loud music. What bothers me? You see, you let too many things bother you. That way you'll never have an organ. Don't you say that word. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Taking so long? Is he going to stop playing that awful music? We were just getting to that conversation. What's she mean, awful music? Awful good. She meant awful good. Uh, Luke, why don't uh, why don't you go back inside? I'll be right in. Okay? Go play with your rope. Keep it long now. Sorry, we'll uh, we'll keep it down. Okay. I knew I recognized you last week at the morgue, remember? I knew I recognized you. I'd probably seen you in the building when I moved in. You live here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but don't worry. Luke is leaving town tomorrow with the rodeo, and I um, hardly ever do business up here. What kind of business are they doing? Uh, she sells cowboy hats. The man was in his underwear. And uh, cowboy underwear. Linda, come on, darling, haul it in here now. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll be right in. I've got to go. We'll keep it down. See you around, neighbor. I took care of that. Let's go back inside. I think I should go home. Why? They said we'll keep it down. When did you get fully dressed? It wasn't going to be any good tonight anyway. I feel so guilty. I cheated today. You're kidding. I had a Nestle's Crunch Bar. Food. I feel like dirt. I am really sorry, Chuck. No one else would be this patient with me. I, I, I'll see you next Sunday. Remembering these cards. 21. Gee. Well, I tell you, Chuck, this weekend is it. This weekend, I go to Atlantic City and I do nothing but play blackjack straight through. I'm not even gonna get a room, I'm just gonna get those washing dryers. You know? Did I tell you I thought of them first? Only they already had them. 21. What's the matter? Oh, I ordered egg salad and they sent me tuna fish. Every night, they send you the wrong food, and you eat it. Send it back. Get what you want. Well, they get angry if you complain. You know, it's all right. I mean, the chef has a lot on his mind. Like what? Curing cancer. 
Wait a minute. Hold the phone. I got it. Oh, you're going to cure cancer? No. Tuna fish. What if you mix mayonnaise right in the can with the tuna fish? Hold it. Hold it. Wait a minute, Chuck. Take live tuna fish and feed them mayonnaise. Oh, this is good. Call Star Kissed. This is great. Wall Street Journal, what do you read this for? What's the matter with the Inquirer? Well, that interests me. I used to be an investment counselor. No kidding? Yeah. What's that? Well, it's like a stockbroker. So, uh, what are you doing babysitting staffs? Big drinker, big drinker. No. Huh? Tootheads, doper, nose candy, coke. No. Come on. That's a very rough job. I would shape up a deal over two months, another man would come right in and take all the credit. I just needed a place that was quiet, that's all. I'm in a transitional period. Well, what kind of paper is this? There's no sports, there's no comics, there's no Ann Landers. Hello? Yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, um, I'm looking for a Mr. Blazajowski. You! Hey! Hi, I'm, I'm Jeffrey Durkin. <laughs> you sure are. How you doing, Jess? You got money for me? Some cash? Some dough ray me? Yeah, 20 bucks, right? 20 bucks, thanks. <laughs> hey, listen, wait outside and we're gonna get in the car, all right? Sure. All right, bud, there you go. Nice tux. Good fit. Yo! I don't want to be a Budinsky, but what exactly is going on? I don't know, some kind of debutante ball out in the island. Kid wants me to take him and his girlfriend. And you're gonna take one of the uh, morgue vehicles? Yeah. It's a limo, eh? It's a limo for dead people. Did you see that kid? <laughs> Wait a minute, are you telling me that every night you leave here, this is what you do? No, not every night. There's not a debutante ball. Every night I do weddings or bar mitzvahs or I'm just going to cruise the airport. The other night, picked up these Japanese guys, $400 from the airport to the UN. Diplomats, you're ripping off diplomats. Here, it's $100. What is this for? OK, big time, let's roll. Rock and roll. Bill? Huh? What happens if we get a call? You know, if you have to go and pick up a body or something? Hey, I'll be back. <laughs> What's the matter? By the time I get there, they won't be dead anymore. <laughs> hey, kid. You like music? Sure. Good. Yeah. What an actor. Oh, listen, we got some bodies in the wrong drawers, but Uncle Sal said that he... I would straighten it out. Good night, Mr. Lovely. Flintstone, meet them Flintstone. They're the Name of the deceased, something Polish? Hi, Chuck. Hey, just our jerky Leonard kid. How come we don't have TV? You want to hear about my weekend? No. You know I've been working on my blackjack system, right? All right. So, I get down to Atlantic City this weekend, and I'm sitting in the casino with my wash and dries. Did I tell you I had the idea for them first? Anyway, I'm sitting there, and I'm playing blackjack, right? They bar me. They bar me. I'm out. I'm barred. I can't get in now, right? You know why? Being too good a player. How much did you win? Well, you know, I was, I was down a couple hundred, but they could tell I was good, you know? They looked at me, and they threw me out. They barred me. 
So they start dealing me off the bottom. I can tell when they do that. So I get up and I yell at the dealer, right? So he goes over to the pit boss, so I throw my complimentary watered-down drink right in his fat face. <laughs> so they barred me for being too good a player. I think I'll go to Vegas next week. I wish you would shut up. Vegas is how to treat you right, you know, Chuck? He's got broads, you know, Wayne Newton, got him. He's an Indian, do you know that? I'll introduce you if you want. Would you do me a favor? Would you please shut up? You telling me to shut up? I'm telling you to shut up. I'm t I will tell you a recorder so that you don't forget. Hello, this is Chuck to remind Bill to shut up. You know, this used to be such a quiet place before you got here. You talk too much. Edible paper feeding mayonnaise to tuna fish. I will give you a quarter if you just stop talking. Thank you. We were friends. Hello, this is Chuck to remind Bill to shut up. Hello, this is Chuck to remind Bill to shut up. Hello, this is Chuck to remind Bill to shut up. Sorry that I yelled at you. To shut. you. Think it's been easy on me? I come in here, I'm the new guy with no friends. I confide in you my whole life. I tell you my deepest, most intimate stuff. You share anything with me? I see a picture of your fiance every day. You don't even tell me her name. Gave you a hundred dollars. I didn't ask for it. That's what made it such a beautiful gesture on my part. Never mind, forget it. We'll work together every night like strangers. That's fine with me. Charlotte. What? My fiance's name is Charlotte. Somebody hit you? It's the other way around. Uh, somebody hit me and then I fell down. I wish I had my handkerchief. I always had. Oh, uh, I got tissue in my purse. Uh, please let me do it. Hi, listen. Do you have a handkerchief? Never. No, no, no. I Never! need your handkerchief. This was the first time I was ever beaten up by a bunch of bluebells. <laughs> I didn't like it. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Four pounds of makeup, they'll never know the difference. Can I ask you a question? I wouldn't do it with the guy until he paid me. So, 
They beat me up. That's what happens when you don't have a pimp. Some guys figure, why should they pay? That guy in the morgue, he was your pimp, right? Yeah. A lot of Franklin's ladies are in the same boat. We could find another pimp, but some of those guys are real rough. Get the girls hooked on dope. Drugs are beat up. It's a nice choice. You could do something different. You're very bright. Is your head OK? Because uh, I'm real tired. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Thank you. Thanks very much. I hope everything turns out all right. See you in the halls. Yeah. So she was just lying there in the elevator. She's all beat up. See, that's why I have pimps. You know that's what she said? She knows this whole bunch of girlfriends that need pimps. I really hope they find someone trustworthy. <laughs> are you crazy? No. Those guys are killers. They're animals. They dress nice, though. Wait a minute. Hold the phone, Chuck. We got all that space down at the morgue. All those cars, all that time at night, nobody watching us. We could handle things for your next door neighbor and all our girlfriends right out of the morgue. Pimps? Are you saying we should become pimps? Pimps is an ugly word. We can call ourselves love brokers. This is my stop. You think about it, OK? I really think this is the one, Chuck. I am excited about this. I mean it. This is it, I think. Love brokers, this... Love brokers! <laughs> you and me, buddy! We're over the rainbow, pal. Last week when you helped me, I think I got a little rude right before you left. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no. Well, anyway, um, I noticed that you and I come home from work at the same time every day. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe we might start having breakfast together. You got any eggs? I practically have a whole dairy in here. <laughs> Great. Oh, tea. Your place is beautiful. And it's warm. My place is freezing. And you got a kitchen, yeah. huh? And you got eggs. Uh, how do you like your eggs? Uh, scrambled. Of course. Men love scrambled. I didn't know that. Yeah. Men love scrambled. <laughs> Chuck, does the window open? Oh, no, I I'm real sorry. It's painted shut. Makes sense, doesn't it? That's where the fire escape is. <laughs> is there a, a vent or a fan or anything? Oh, no, I'm real sorry. That room just catches all the heat in the morning. It's OK. Well, you know, it's worse in the summer. I'll put my robe back on. Oh, no, no, don't. Uh, uh, what I mean is that uh, you should be comfortable. Uh, I am. <laughs> OK. I'll get that. That's probably for me. <laughs> Hello? Charlotte? 
Why'd you call me? What's the matter? You wait, what? Well, that's okay. Just don't do it again. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Well, of course I sound strange if you call me up early in the morning and you say, what am I doing? And I'm not doing anything. Oh, my God. I just stepped on a tack. Yeah, I love you, too. Egg's coming right up. You know, I was thinking about the last time that we were together, and I was wondering, have, have you been able to find, you know, a, um... A pimp? Yeah. No. I have to, though. This way's too dangerous. Yeah. Lupe, she's my friend. Yeah. She got her arm broke last week. The sick world. <sighs> yeah, thank God. You know, we could do this every morning. At least until you get tired of eggs. Boy, it is hot in here. Got any bread? I'm sorry, I must have my money at home. Some of my other pants and things. There you go. Four ninety or five. Keep the dime. It's all right. Take it easy. They gave me the wrong bread. Huh? I asked for wheat. They gave me white. So send it back. Hey, gave me white bread. No, no, don't make a fuss. Don't make a fuss. My mother said you send it back. The chef spits on it. Really? Turkey, turkeys, turkeys. Come get your turkey. All right. Immoral. What do you mean immoral? As a matter of fact, prostitution is probably one of the most moral things in the world. How did you figure that out? Simple. You take a guy. He's in from out of town. Let's say that guy, okay? He's in from out of town. He's here on business, all right? He's waiting for his wife and 2.3 children. Hey, he's got urges, all right? Let's say he gets in to see this picture, which, by the way, is not a bad movie. Anyway, let's say this picture stimulates his uh, urges. Good word. All right. Now, he's out on the street again, right? Okay. He is a loaded pistol. He's like Mount St. Helens, all right? Who walks by? Little Girl Scouts swinging her cookies. Her little cookies. Girl Scouts American. He goes bananas. He's on her like mud on a pig. That wouldn't have happened if it had gone to a hooker, right? So you call that moral. He goes, jumps on a Girl Scout and breaks her cookies. You call that moral. You figured that all out just by yourself? I have that kind of mind, yeah. Yes, you do, Bill. Yes, you do. So let's do it. Okay, now. Yeah, nice. But isn't this a little high, Angelo? That's the way I always do it. You like it that way. I do? Yeah, yeah all right, I do. I do. Hi! Hi. How you doing? All right. Hey, Chuck, what do you like in a haircut? No, I just like wearing sheets. <laughs> hey, look at this. What did I tell you? Girl Scout attack in the paper right there. Did I see that again? Yeah, right there. Girl Scout attack. Girls got attacked by dog. Dog, a guy from out of town. What's the difference, Chuck? There's a very big difference. One carries an attaché case, the other urinates on a tree. Hey, what are you doing here? What is this? A haircut? You call it? Look at these sideburns. Even that mouth. He's going to have a razor in his hand. Let us not get him out. Chuck, I know, but you got a sideburn up here in the number down. Bill, Fort Lauderdale. Please, he is a seasoned yeah. professional. Do you want your friend Belinda working for one of those animals? You want her to be bought Miss Heroin, 1982? Charlotte's parents are coming in for Thanksgiving. I really need to get this haircut. Oh, yeah. You know, you know. Yeah, get, that's it. Get the haircut. Get all your hair. All you ever think about is yourself. You don't care about what happens to me. You don't care about what happens to Belinda. You don't care about what happens to the Girl Scouts of America. America? I'm fed up, man. I'm fed up with you. I wash my hands and my feet of you. Trim that. Mr. and Mrs. Kugel, would you care for a drink? Mrs. Kugel and I do not drink. Of course. So, how do you like our fair city? Oh, we don't. Well, perhaps if you drank, you would. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, is dinner almost ready? Turkey's almost dead. <laughs>
Hello. Hi, happy Thanksgiving. Arrested. Chuck, I'm really sorry. I, I called the landlady and she wasn't home. They're taking me into night court and all my ID and all my money are in my apartment. Oh, beautiful. Linda, this is not a good evening for me. My entire family is here for Thanksgiving. Chuck, please. Franklin used to take care of all these things. I don't know what they're going to do to me. Okay. Don't cry. I'll be there as soon as I can get there. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Have you seen the lights out at night? No wonder this city's going broke. <laughs> I have to go out and I'll be back in a minute, okay? What? Where are you going? You absolutely didn't have to come with me. I would have been home in 10 minutes. Well, we had to run a car, pay her normal leg for it. Might as well use it. You don't want to excuse me, Sonny. I want to know why she called you. She's my neighbor. Excuse me. The district attorney has no objection, so uh, if you like, I think we can uh, proceed. Uh, next case. That's his neighbor. Belinda Keaton, you're charged with prostitution and assault. Not guilty, Your Honor. <coughs> Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty, Your Honor. This woman is a menace. Uh, you are one Howard uh, Pelicutus? Yes, sir. I'm the victim. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, be that as it may, uh, can we uh, proceed? Mr. Pelicutus and I had just completed a business transaction, <coughs> at which point Mr. Pelicutus attempted to forcibly exact a refund when services had already been rendered. Tried to grab his money back. Yeah. Yes, that's when she assaulted me. Uh, Mr. Pelicutis, uh, you look unmarked, undamaged to me in any manner. Oh, yeah? <coughs> well, feast your eyes on this! <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to know what really Steve's my bean. They let that strumpet right back out on the street. You're moving out of that building? Absolutely. Why are you friends with that girl? She's my neighbor. She happens to be a very nice girl. Oh, she's a harlot. Now, wait a you minute. You stay out of it. Let me tell you something, Charlotte. When you get married, you're going to have to handle him just the way I handled his father. Oh. Damn, Potos. You all right, Rose? Oh. If it wasn't for me, his father would have done any old thing he pleased. You know what he wanted to do? Huh? Make furniture. By hand! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. and Mrs. Kugel. I straightened out Al, and together we'll all straighten out Chuck. Oh. Oh. All right, Rose. Security building. I'm gonna have to talk to that guy. Yeah! Ready, go! What are we really talking about here? Huh? What's the essence of what we're talking about? I'll spell it out for you if I have to. Prostitution. Hmm? Hey, we can say it. We're big kids now, right? You know, a lot of times it'll help you to understand a word if you break it down. So let's do that now, shall we? Pros doesn't mean anything. Forget about that. Tit. I think we all know what that means. T. 
two. Okay, two. Tet. And shun, of course, from the um, Latin to shun. To say no, uh-uh. Thank you anyway, I don't want it. To push away. It doesn't even belong in this word, really. So let's get rid of that. You know, um, if I can take a moment here, uh, and I mean this, what I'm about to say. I feel a lot of love in this room. I don't know, maybe it's me, but I'll tell you something, I was here a minute ago, and uh, it was really beautiful. So at this moment, I think it's important that I see all of your breasts. Or I don't have to, I don't see the breasts. Come on, let's get out of here. This guy's no pimp, he's on whip. Hey, come on, come on get on, you guys, give him a chance. Come back. Is this a joke? Is it a bunch of bullshit? This is the Donahue Show. I had you on the Donahue Show. Book! Chuck, you've got to tell him. Now just tell him like you told me. How would you ladies like to earn ten times the amount of money you earn now? I'm not kidding. Ten times the amount of money that you earn right now. You want to use the blackboard? You know, you're absolutely right. We're not pimps. If I understand it correctly, pimps make 70, 80, 90 yeah. percent of your money, right? Yeah, right. Really. You work very hard for that money, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Then please think of William and myself as uh, business managers, okay? As as agents, if you will. We're only interested in 10 percent of your money. 10 percent? <laughs> Leave him alone. He's doing fine. Yeah. And ladies, I have a knack. I can take money and I can make it into more money. Oh, boy! Why shouldn't you have the fruits of your labor? Why should you be cheated and beaten? Do you have a dental plan? Do you have a health plan? Well, if you come with us, we'd like to give you a sound foundation, a financial foundation. And, and, and if you don't come with us, well, then I, I totally understand it. And I say thank you very much for listening. No, wait, 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 wait. What do you think? You think this guy's legit? Yeah. 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 Come on, now, wait a minute. These guys are snowing us, and you know that. This is too easy. Oh, oh, should have pushed a little more. You should have just pushed to do the best I can. Yeah, are we going to do this? Yeah. Yeah. We're all yours, Chuck. You pushed just enough, you know? You right up to it, and you lay back. <laughs> That kind of love don't leave helpless on the street tonight. It sure looks good, but you should be the very first to know that kind of love don't last. Mm. You know that girls know how to ask any man around you. We'll say that girls know. Girls know 
Hey, Chuck. How you doing, bud? Boy, I am cooking like Betty Crocker tonight, sport. I get any calls? Yeah. Loopy called. She's finished with Mr. Culpepper. She's now with Mr. Jurgens. Marlene just called. She has a date with a young man. She wants you to take her. Okay, good. I got a couple of minutes. What are you doing? Well, we don't want our girls getting beaten up by any of those bozos, so if we run into them, I want them to see some muscles. And these are them? Yeah, it's working, right? Yeah. Hey, business is going great, right? I suppose so. So what's the matter? Ever since we started this, I have been ill. I have headaches, stomach aches. I get the chills. My gums are bleeding, and my hair keeps falling out into the sink. So? Bill, let me try to explain this to you. As we sit here and idly chat, there are women female human beings rolling around in strange beds with strange men and we are making money from that is this a great country or what look at this this is hair this is hair that used to be in my head see the same thing happened to me when i was working on wall street i had to wear a hat sitting at my desk this is bill mission in life make chuck a man what am I now, a duck? <laughs> You're unbelievable. You are something else, pal. You are some kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Impress the girls. <laughs> yeah, corn dog. Believe me? Let's go take a look at rigor mortis in room 12 here. This will bring you back to reality. I want you all to see this. They 
all jumped in the drawers. <laughs> yeah, I heard. You're not, you're not shocked by that? No. How could people do it in a morgue? How could people do it in the drawers? It's new. It's sick. Oh. Everybody's looking for a new way to do it. A guy once took me up in a helicopter. Excuse us. Had me do it with him as we hovered over his ex-wife's house. No. Yeah. Did you ever fantasize different ways you want to do it? Once I'd like to do it without checking the apartment first. What? windows. Glass? Glass, yeah. But we can see out and nobody can see in. Watch. Oh, watch. Okay, here we go. Hey, yo! Right here! Right here, buddy! Hey, look at this! We got teenage girls! The place is full of pride in here! Yo, Roger! Roger, officer! Is this great or what? <laughs> You're gonna get one, man. This is great. And everything's automatic, too. Pop a trunk. Right from here, don't have to move. You should get one of these. What are you doing with all your money? Man? You know, I'd like to talk to you about that. I have this feeling that something is very wrong. We're this close from getting caught. You know what? It's my fault you are the way you are. It is, because I promised I'd turn you around and I haven't done a thing. It's my fault. Listening, Bill. Listen, today it starts, all right? Operation Chuck, all right? From now on, we're going to have some fun, fun, fun. That is it. It's a deeper way, all right? So I tell them about you, you're going to be a walking Mardi Gras. I'm not even going to be able to control you. You are going to be an insane cowboy. the pickle girl, Loopy, you now own the pickles. Wait, what? Ladies, I am very pleased to announce to each and every one of you that you are the proud owner of this particular burger steak. Okay. What? Remember, sign your contract. Sign them. This is wonderful. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. I'm telling you, somebody's taking over Franklin's business and we're not seeing a damn dime on it. All right, all right, all right. Let me take you something. Uh, hey! I got it. Can't just see we're talking here. We know all of Franklin's girls, right? What we do is we check them out for a while, we find out who's running their action, then we bury him and put in our own man, okay? Yeah. All right. This guy's had enough. And next time, watch out whose car you sit on. Guys, come on over by the Christmas tree when you think you think you look good. Come on. Uh, Mr. Chucky and Bill, uh, we have something to say to you, so I have been elected the spokesperson. <laughs> you take us off the city streets and give us nicer men's to meet. We have furs and jewels and nicer dresses to wear. And we even go to Vital Sassoon's to fix up our hair. 
We moved to nice apartment houses instead of living with the ratones and the mouses. Because of you, our joy is jumping. Because we at this party instead of humping. <laughs> Check this out, Jack. Radical! Radical! It's a new tape recorder. Oh! I, want, I was gonna get one, but this one's better because I didn't have to pay for it. Yeah. Okay, Jack, you next. I love presents. <laughs> Ladies, it's amazing you've hit upon the one thing I've always wanted. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where, baby? Oh, yeah. So, my father told me that I'd never amount to anything, right? No, oh, fathers get that way. Yeah, oh yeah, well, he told me that when I was four. Oh. I'm serious. <laughs> I know. Then when I was 13, he uh, left. He's out of there. He's gone. History, right? Told me and my mom we were uh, too ugly to look at. In my case, he was wrong. Oh, Bill. No, I mean, my mom, well, she, my mom used to be real pretty. You live with a lunatic and does things to you. This guy, he doesn't have fun. I'm gonna teach him, this guy, this wild man, how to have fun right now. Okay. He, he does, we making loads of cash. He doesn't spend any of his money, right? I spent some. On what? Are you really interested to see what I spent it on? What you bought? Chuck, wait. A cemetery. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait up, hey, Chuck, you? you know what? This might not be a bad idea. Because, you know, yeah. Hey, people are going to die, right? Why can't they just die for us? We just sit back and rake it in. Chuck and Bill's cemetery. Hey, Chuck, this one's full. Should have bought an empty one. Wanted to see what I bought. Your father? He used to have the smallest stone in the whole place. Not anymore. This is what you spent your money on? He's my dad. It takes a while for the heat to come up. <laughs> no, it'll be up by spring. <laughs> you know, my father's alive, and I don't buy him anything. You're like a saint. Because I bought my father a headstone. St. Chuck. Well, not just for that. You're nice. 
decent. Decent? Do you remember the first time you made me eggs in my apartment? And you took off your robe? <laughs> my eyes had a heart attack. And every time after that, it didn't matter what you were wearing. You could have worn a suit of armor. I got hot and crazy. There's your St. Chuck. It's 30 degrees in here and I am sweating. I think we'll skip the coffee. I'm sober. Chuck! Yeah? I'm sober too and I have to talk to you. What about? About this. You're a very good talker. The zipper's on the side, honey. Yeah. I got it. something funny? What? I don't smoke. <laughs> Did you ever see the movie Clute? What? The movie with Jane Fonda, Clute. No, I don't think so. She plays a call girl, mm -hmm. and she's with this guy, you know, um, a, a customer. And they're doing it, and she's screaming and moaning as if it's like the end of the world for her. And then right in the middle, when the guy's not looking, she looks at her watch, and you just know it's an act. This evening. You drunk from last night? Drunk, yes, but not from wine. Beer. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You're three hours late. It's been mayhem in here. I got stiffs coming in. I got girls going out. Where's Belinda? She hasn't checked in. I would not count on Belinda coming back to work. What's the matter? What happened? Is she all right? Somebody rough her up? Nobody roughed her up. Will you put away your muscles? 
Bill, something happened last night. Something passed between us. Her life couldn't possibly be the same. Hi, Bill. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Jack. Guy Schisselman. He called and he wants to meet you. Oh, yeah. He's nice. What are you doing? What do you mean? What's she doing? She's working. Is that true? Yeah. Really? I have to earn a living, right? You told me this morning that you weren't faking. I wasn't faking. Faking what? Please, Bill. Get out of town! You two guys! Can I please have a conversation with her? You haven't quit? How can I quit? Very simply, you open your mouth and you say, Bill, Chuck, I quit. Okay, then what do I do? No, I mean it, Chuck. Where do I go from there? What happens to me? What happens to you is... I can't get over the fact that you didn't quit. Uh, right! I didn't quit! Did you quit? I'm not a whore. No, you're a pimp. Hey, guys, come on, huh? Let's stop before we all say something we regret. Oh, shut up. I need a ride. I have to drive her. Fine. You gonna be all right? Hey, you know us pimps. Fine. Okay. I need the car keys. You got them? Thank you. I got them. you and me. He probably thought um, you two were in love. So did I. the trick. I'll come back later, bring my bottle, get him drunk, take off his clothes. In the morning, he'll think you were there. <laughs> no problem. City Mork. Somebody died. Who cares? Hi. Why did you lock the door? It's okay. Sir. At least Franklin paid off regular for two years until he got stupid. You never even sent us a nickel. Not one nickel. 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know. If you came to us up front, we could have worked something out. But now it's too late. We're angry. We're insulted. Besides, wouldn't be right to let you live after we kill Franklin. He was our friend. I'd like to be your friend. Please, God, let me be your friend. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We bust one bozo, we gotta bust the whole place. Yeah. I hate narcotics. Yeah. I wish they put us back on vice. Mm. Hey, check, please. Pretty good beat, huh? Peachy. You know, I noticed you guys were uh, unencumbered by female companionship. Yeah? So how'd you like to get uh, encumbered? Okay, boys, here we are. I wonder why that door's locked. Hey, Chuck! In the morgue? Hey, I know. I know what you're thinking. Don't worry about it. It really won't bother you if you just don't think about all those dead people in there. <laughs> Let me get my phone book here. It's got all my numbers, eh? I wonder where that book is. Maybe my partner has it. Follow me. You're about to become one of the Great Lakes. Open up. I said, open up. Mm. Get ready to fill them up. Yeah. Mm. This is to make some holes so the water comes out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, luck. <laughs> hey! What's going on? Excuse me. Yeah. Police. 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 police! You guys are police? How could they be cops? They should have asked for an ID. And you blew it, man! You hey, let me hit it one time, one time. Chuck! Chuck! It's all over, buddy. Were you scared? Yeah. Were you? Nah. Mostly dizzy. I'll tell you, you were great. Guys are shooting over you, and you just laid there. You never complained once, and I want you to know I admire that, Chuck. I do. I have a great Take off the tape. Okay. Look up here. Turn sideways. Other way. Okay, leave. So we have a comb, right? Can you just get, look, get ready? I wasn't ready for that. Can I have a take? Just turn sideways. Leave. Today. That damn Mario was such a shit. He's pretty good at this game. All right, ready? Last one, best out of three. Even, shoot. Great, fair is fair. Hey, we took a shot, right? I mean, you can't hit a home run if you don't come to bat. I wish I had a bat right now. <sighs> you had to bring the police? Yeah. Oh, that's gratitude. Yeah. That's gratitude. If I didn't bring the police, you'd be dead now. So, I'd be better off. I'd rather be dead. You want to be dead? Huh? You want to be dead? No. 
let me know if you change your mind. You'll be the first. Hi. How you doing? That's great. That's great. You get me in jail here with Peter Laurie's son. Oh, come on, we have to be pimps. Let's be pimps. Well, we couldn't be doctors. <coughs> well, after a while, you understand it. Rolling there for a while, though, huh? Cash, clothes. I'll tell you something, Chuck. You couldn't do what we did in Russia. You know? Seriously. Russian pimp. Could you do me a favor and just leave me alone? Chuck. Chuck. Hi, Charlotte. I thought you were in Indiana. My mom called. And you flew all the way back here. I thought for sure when you found out what I was doing, you'd just hate me. But no, not you. You came to be by my side. You are one in a million. <laughs> Goodbye, Chuck. Did you see that? My fiance just spit on me. And after you were deloused. But she's right, you know. I should be spit on. Chuck, Chuck, He's got a little hair in his mouth. What are you doing? Chuck, you look bad in front of the other guy. So what? What am I running for? So president? I have that? Oh, this is a nightmare. And you know what the worst part about this is? I'm guilty. I am guilty. You know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going to lose my job. Oh, my life is over. Do you know, at this moment, I have sunk as low as I can go. I was wrong. Mimi, pay the cab driver, will you? Move over. With money? Yeah. Isn't a jail paid enough to hold us? Bet your Puerto Rican ass I did. Can't keep my men in there. My life is over. Stay with him. Take him home. We get him to the lawyers on time. We'll take you home. We'll give you a nice bath. I don't see Belinda here. Josh, she don't want to come. That's it. Make him feel better. You know what I mean. Yeah, we'll take a chair. Is this going to take long or what? I have a tennis club less than at 1 o'clock. I already missed one when we were in prison. I see. Can I get you anything? Yeah, all right. Uh, lamb chops? I was thinking more in terms of something to drink. Why don't we just get started? Mr. Drollhausen, are we going to prison? Yeah, it's a good question. I hardly think so. You see, boys, this is an election year, and the party in power, well, let's just say, they find the whole situation rather embarrassing. Therefore, it would be in the best interest of all concerned if they just gave you boys your jobs back and forgot the whole thing. I assume that's okay with you. Okay. Okay. Mr. Drollhauser, that's the greatest thing I have heard. Thank you very much. That's fantastic.
Well, it's not okay with me. <laughs> we got him over the barrel. As long as we do. I said we'd get something out of it. Can I talk to him alone, please? <laughs> thought about this to the entire time in jail and what I want is to go back to my old life the way it was before this craziness I want my old life back please Bill please let me have my old life back no Chuck if I did that I'd never be able to sleep with myself again we're holding the cards. They're afraid of us. You see the beauty here? I say we go down there right now, all right? And we march right into the mayor's office. We lay it on the line. You want to? Come on. It'll be fun. It'll be great. <laughs> going to see the mayor. You are not going to make any demands or I'm going to kill you. You're going to play tennis with God. Now, are you going to change your mind? No. Are you going to change your mind? Chuck, you got to keep that elbow stiff. Uh, I could have you guys executed for this. Call maintenance. Get them up here. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Oh, are you okay, Mr. Jokey? I'm calm. Yeah. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. Are you I leaving? promise. It's okay, girls. You can let go. You son of a bitch. You listen to me, Mr. Idea Man. I will go back to the morgue. And I will put my life straight. The life that you ruined. Everything that's bad that happened to me, you did. I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to hear from you anymore. I don't even want to hear rumors about you anymore. Here's a good idea. Why don't you get a ticket on the first space shuttle and get out of here? Excuse me. jail I'm back to work yeah me too I start a new job tonight really what are you doing oh uh, I'm doing the same thing I did before I'm just doing it at a different place paradise found just off sixth I've heard of it yeah it's supposed to be real nice you know so look I um I may not see you again I'm moving on Friday Condo. Very good investment. Yeah. Well, I guess you don't want to be late for your first day. No. <laughs> Bye. Okay. What? Excuse me, I didn't know you was deaf. 
4K! I'm 4K, is that my dinner? You do it at what you want. It's five bucks. I already added in my tip. How thoughtful. Thank you. Excuse me. There's mustard on this sandwich. So? So, it's egg salad. Give me the sandwich. Happy now? I would like a whole new sandwich. Listen to me. You listen to me. Take it easy. You listen to me. I will never again eat a sandwich I did not order. I am sick and tired of being afraid. Bad jobs, bad sandwiches, neurotic girlfriends. No longer for this man. Do you understand? <laughs> you! Go home! <laughs> and you, go clean off my door. Excuse me. Do you know that I joined this club one month ago? I have not received my membership cards. Where is the manager? Would you I don't please know call the manager? Him. You know what? I'll find him myself. Hey, sir. <laughs> is everything all right, Mr. Tuttle? Where's the goddamn cowboy? I'm not coming out of this pool naked. Not with these parrots around here. Of course, Mr. Tuttle. Yo, cowboy! Sorry. Hi, Mr. Manetti. Hi. Hey, nice red. Very Miami Beach. Yeah. Mr. Tuttle would like a towel. All right, yes, sir. There you go. Hey, Mr. Tuttle. How you doing? How's everything? There you are, sir. Got one. Maybe you ought to take two, Mr. Tuttle. I don't think one will do it. Less seen the better, huh? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Tuttle. <laughs> Belinda? Do you know Belinda Keaton? No, I don't. Now listen, Helium Ed, how hard is it to pass out some towels? Well, it's a skill like anything else. These people pay $8,000 a year just to join this club. They expect some service. Stop screwing around or I'll butt your ass out of here. You understand? Yes, sir, Beat sir. it! All right. Shag off. What was that? Nothing with me. Those are birds, I guess. The birds. Birds. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm looking for Belinda. Is she working here? Excuse me. Hey, 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 uh, don't go thinking I work here, man, because I don't. I own this place. I bought it this morning. Hey, straighten that strap. Drop the kid. All right, you're fired, all right? Play out your lock here. You're in the archives. You're history. Hey, Chuck, don't go up there. Get in trouble, man. Why? With who? You own the place. I know, but I got partners. Come on. These guys are tough. Chuck, hey. Hey, Chuck, I'm not kidding. These guys are built like checker cabs, man. Don't go in. Hey. Sorry. Yeah. Belinda. Hey, Chuck, don't go in there. No, I'm sorry. I'm not letting you get... <sighs> Sorry, we were help apart. Would you... Oh, hey, we're in here! What am I going to do? Do you want a membership? Because I get a commission on everybody. Will you just stay out of my life? Sure, you don't tell me three times, pal. I'm out, bud. Can I buy you a drink? Um, no, I, I changed my mind. I don't work. Hey, I'll make it worth your while. No, come really, I, I don't feel like it. Okay? Hey, the party's just started. No, I really don't feel like it, okay? Come on. Belinda, 
Am I glad I found you? I've got to talk to you. Hey, I what? saw her first. No, actually, I saw her first. What is it? Remember the argument we had at the morgue? Yeah, and you were right. I was okay. wrong. Are you done? No, now listen. You were waiting for me to say something. Actually, you were waiting for me to say I love you, but I didn't have the guts then. Hey, I've got the guts now. I love you, too. Come on, I'll show you how much. Listen, slime. You have exactly three seconds to take your hands off this particular woman. One. Two. Chuck? Hold on, Chuck. I'm coming, buddy. Where's the manager? You guys stay right here. Bill. Bill, are you all right? No. Did you break anything, Bill? I cut an updraft. Come on. Come on. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. No, don't worry. I'm all right. I'm all right. Fortunately, the ground broke my fall. Never mind me. Tell her what you were going to tell her. Yeah. Belinda. I... You love me? <laughs> I said it. I didn't say it. Belinda. Can we do that again? Yes. John, guys, my neck. You got my neck a little bit. You got me just a little bit of my neck back there. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm real happy for you. Okay, Pitsand, you're fired! You know, that suits him just fine. He's not a towel boy, he is an idea man. He couldn't find his asshole with a funnel. Chuck, never mind. The guy's right. He's wrong. He's right. I've never done one thing I ever said I was going to do. That is not true. Remember the first time I met you, you said, all right, I'm going to make a man out of you. Do you think I could have done all this without you? Then I'll what? First of all, you can't talk to my very good friend and the woman that I love like that. Now, look, I know that you're a very powerful man. I know that you could break my back like a little toothpick. There's only one question I've got to ask. Is that a gun under your jacket? Fine.
you know 